Hello and welcome to more controller madness. I noted that I never did a tutorial about the open sound control standard, which is short OSC, which is an open standard for sending different kind of messages uh, via Ethernet. And you can define the messages as you want. So it's usable for very applications and some programs do support that. To use OC with Bitwig, you can download my Driven by MOS extension and part of that is an OC implementation, which gives you several messages to get data out of uh, Bitwig and also to send control information to Bitwig. So you can control it via any device which is connected via Ethernet or Wi-Fi to your host computer. So what you need to do to set that up is you can and click here on add controller manually and here is the open sound control protocol and there you can choose OC for Bitwig and uh, the new device comes up here. This is a protocol so this is a little bit funny here because you can also send MIDI notes via this protocol but to get MIDI data into Bitwig you need a MIDI interface. So it doesn't matter which one you choose here. I always have a virtual MIDI port for which I use here on Windows Loop BE. So you can send MIDI data between different applications on your Windows computer, but there are also such solutions for Linux or for Mac. And it's pretty handy if you want to test something with MIDI as well. You can set several things since, since OSC communicate via network connection. You need to set up on which port it receives data and on which port it sends data. Sadly, you cannot change this currently because of a problem with the API inside of Bitwig, but I hope this gets fixed in the future. So currently you have to stick with this port 8000 on which Bitwig receives and with the port 9000 to send data. So you can change it here, but it has no effect. It will still stick to eight and 9,000. There are two settings for accents. If, if you send MIDI notes, and these are more of interest. So uh, if you send VU meter data, this is sends out of a lot of messages if you play with a lot of tracks. So if you want to save some network performance, you can turn that off. And here you can also enable uh, the debugging of commands. Every command via OSC that Bitwig receives will be locked to the console if you turn this on. This is also a little bit of a resource hog. So if you don't need that, turn it off which is the default here. If you have set that up, uh, you can use it. And the Driven by MOS download comes with three files which support different OC clients. So to use it, you need an OC client if you don't want it to program from scratch. So there comes a file for touch OC, uh, one for the new open stage control client, and also test implementation for cycling 74s max. And Max is quite nice for testing it. So if I start up this OSC uh, test patch, you see there are a lot of messages in here. So this is how OSC looks. You have these uh, slash and a name and you can have such paths like here, for example, I want to start the scene one to play and I put most of the commands. There are some more, not everything, but most of them are in here. And so you can test that. For example, let's have a look. I can make that here a little bit smaller so you see what's going on. So for example, if I send the play command, you will see Bitwig starts playing and if I play stop it stops again and if you scroll down you see that that is matching here so let's have again a look at the configurations it receives on 8000 which means here in our client we have to send on port 8000 and sends to 9000 so we have to receive here on 9000 to make that work you have here a lot of commands for testing and you also see the other way around here you see what bitwig sends out let's go back to bitwig close that and make that smaller again, clear here that window. And for example, if I change the volume of that track, you see 
there will be all those messages which are sent out, so the volume message and so on. There is a site on GitHub where all these commands, the available commands which are sent out and received are documented. So much for that. In the next tutorial, I will talk a little bit about the new client Open Stage Control, which has a lot of nice features. And for my opinion, it's the first client which is pretty usable because there is currently the Lemur app and there is also the Touch OC app, but you hit a wall pretty soon with these applications. They are pretty nice for making a play button, but if you do a little bit more sophisticated stuff, it's pretty complicated complicated or not possible at all. So much for the OC protocol for today and stay tuned for a more deeper introduction into using this OC interface in Bitwig with open stage control. Bye.